what you may see on the test would be a picture like this, and I will say, graph the inverse. Well, first of all, does this guy even have an inverse? How are you going to know if a picture can have an inverse? Turn it 180 degrees. Nope. It's got to pass a test, right? What test does it need to pass? The horizontal line test. Does this pass the horizontal line test? Yes. Now, for me to find <coughs> the inverse, I need to be able to clearly identify some points that are on the original. This guy looks like a nice, clear point. What do we have here? Negative 3, 5. I've got another nice point maybe right here. And so that's it with the coordinates. Negative 1, positive 3. <coughs> maybe another nice one here. Does that look good? And that's 1, negative 3. Hmm. Let's take those points. Let's do the inverse of those. Remember, to do the inverse, you're not changing signs, you're flipping the coordinates. Right? Yeah. A comma B is now B comma A. Right, so if we had negative 3, 5, what's the inverse for that? 5, negative 3. 5, negative 3. Now that's my starting point, just like it was here. So 5, negative 3. I've got negative 1, 3, so I should have what? 3, negative 1. Let's go right here at 3, negative 1. And I've got 1, negative 3. So negative 3, positive 1. So I should be able to connect these points and get something very similar to this guy, right? Let's see if I can do that. Now, I do have to cross right here where that guy crossed. So that kind of helps me out a little bit. All right, it's getting kind of dicey here. So. Show us something kind of like that. Now, if I were to rotate this guy, where my y equals x is straight up and down, you can Xbox. see probably more easily. What, what is that? Xbox. Shit, <laughs> don't even get me started. So I, I've got this guy. It doesn't look more like an x. It looks more like I, I see the anger here. Do you guys see the anger? You said it had to pass the horizontal asymptote. No, it has to pass. Horizontal line, horizontal test. line test. Yeah. Okay. So you don't you don't have to change the sign either, right? <laughs> really? Change the, what do you mean change the oh, sign? Oh, like, oh, you it over for a mic. No, no, no. Just it's what we said before. <laughs> a B will become B A. I'm flipping the yeah. order of the coordinates, but I'm not changing any signs. Okay. I should take that and put it on some kind of shirt and sell it to a bunch of skaters. I'd make millions. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why don't I do that? I don't know. Maybe because I'm not a collector. Teacher, it's not about the money. <laughs> I'm a teacher. It's not about the money. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't have gone into teaching. I mean, that's teachers. The videos for this Sure, that's kind of questionable right now. Uh, let's let's look at this Why one right here. Problem? Just is. Does this guy have an inverse? Yes. Yeah, it does. Identify points on the original and then flip them over. This looks like a nice place to start. So that's two negative three. Where should I be on my new one? Negative three, negative three, two. So negative three, two. Uh, I've got another nice point maybe right here at 4, 1. So where should I be on my inverse? 1, 4. Um, maybe, what is this? I think that's 0, negative 7. I, I could be wrong. I know it's like, how could you? Well, sometimes I am. Yeah, I think I can't see better. I'm not as old as you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, 
I can finish graphing this. I, I see some other nice points here. This looks kind of like it's on a half, and this is on a half. So if I flip that over, maybe something that looks like this. Now, I know I have to go through this point right here. What does this black line remind you of? What function does he remind you of? The cube guy, right? And what does his inverse remind you of? The cube root, right? And so you can see here, ace of, ace of spades. Not ace of base, though, right? Oh, look, you know what this is? <laughs> That's my grade. 